the rescue missions have stopped. The broadcast has stopped. The news has stopped. I wonder, has the whole world stopped as well? Each day I searched, never going too far from refuge, never straying from the path, never taking chances I didn't have to take. And each day it seemed more and more calm, almost as if this was all a dream. Maybe I've gone crazy. Maybe this isn't the world around me. Maybe I just need to wake up. I often dreamed about how life was like before all this happened. I wondered if I was the only one in the area that survived. Simply looking at this neighborhood, you wouldn't think anything was wrong with it. Had this place been isolated from the rest of the world? We would never have known the horrors that lurked right outside our boundaries. I don't know what happened. And as cliche as it sounds, I don't think I want to know. I used to think crime, drugs, gangs, hell, even cholesterol were the most dangerous things on earth. And in a not so funny way, I wish they still were. That day, that horrible day, I decided to go against my instincts, to go against the rules that I laid out for myself, the rules that kept me alive these past three months. I got greedy and decided to check a house I had been watching for a week. I went inside and checked around and found a few cans of food and other supplies. and I left out the back door. As I was making my way through the unfamiliar yard, it happened. One saw me. Then I thought, maybe I overreacted. Maybe it didn't see me. Two hours have gone by and nothing. Then I realized the door. In, in my panic, not only had I forgotten to lock it, I forgot to shut it too. These weren't the zombies from the video games. No, the movies lied to us. These creatures were more. Their danger wasn't in their speed. It wasn't in their strength. It was, it was in their speech. Open the door. We must be hungry. There's plenty of food out here. You're lonely, right? It's not so bad. They say the sound of zombies moaning can drive you mad. Not so bad. But this was much worse. It was like they were trying to coax me into opening the door. Trying to trick me. Imitating who they once were with the sole purpose of satisfying their insatiable appetite for human flesh. That was five days ago. They never sleep. They never get bored. They never leave. And they never shut up. It's not so bad. It's not so bad. It's not so bad. It's not so bad. Their constant siren calls breaking into my soul and warping my mind. It's as, as if I'm being pulled. It's as if I'm being beckoned. It's as if I'm being persuaded. It's not so bad, Emily. All you have to do is open the door.
And then, as I knelt there, a thought crossed my mind. Maybe it won't be so bad.